This session is designed to begin to explore X3's features that are found in both products and formulas to support the chemical industry. Within the X3 Solutions product master file, we'll find several different fields that begin to describe what each product is designed to do. And on the left-hand side of the screen, we can see that there are a couple of different category classifications, one being an intermediate, another one being a finished product, and another one being a raw material. As we begin to explore further into the concept of batch manufacturing, we'll find that the concept of an intermediate is designed specifically for the chemical industry. In addition to that, as we begin to look at the production slip or the extended and indented bill of materials for this product, within the production slip, we can see that X3 is now assigned to a specific formulation or intermediate of a couple of different operations, one being for pre-mixing materials and the other one being for blending materials. Within each of those operations, we can see not only the equipment and the personnel required to support that function, but also the materials that are being selected and the quantity being selected of those various materials at that stage in the process. This unique feature is designed to provide the user the ability to see all of the operations and materials combined for the manufacturing environment. In addition, X3 provides visibility of base quantities, management units, and in this case, by lot, as well as the operational visibility, yield and or scrap capabilities, and even rounding features associated with the product line. As we explore further into the formulation associated with our intermediate, we can see that in the example glycerol, graphical images that are related to the formula we can also find information related to chemical-related requirements. When we talk about chemical-related requirements, we can see that within X3, we may have additional requirements for information similar to CAS registry numbers, ACT codes, and optional and related similar names for the industry. In addition, X3 provides extensive unit of measure conversion capabilities, whether that's specific stocking units, weighing units, purchasing units with additional stock conversion capabilities, sales units, or even when we get into volume mass conversions that require density and specific gravity, X3 is designed to uniquely provide visibility and automation of those complex calculations. And finally, X3's extensive lot and sublot management functionality, as well as traceability features are there as well. We can find that from a lot management perspective, the product can be mandatory lot, optional lot, lot and or sublot, or it could be not managed. All of those features when activated in a unique sequential number give the user and the system the ability to begin to monitor everything from shelf life to expiration date. This concludes review of product and formula features found in X3 for the chemical industry.